Hi, my name is Ashley Davis Bush. I'm a psychotherapist and an author of nine self-help books, including the book Transcending Loss, the book The Little Book of Inner Peace, and also the book The Art and Power of Acceptance. And I'd like to talk with you today about a specific technique to use both when you're grieving, when you're feeling anxious, when you're dealing with a pandemic and all that goes with that. We're all nervous right now. There's a lot of change, uncertainty, loss, and certainly if you've lost a loved one, you are grieving. So this is a self-care technique that I recommend. Um, it's a practice of self-compassion. So you may have heard that self-compassion is especially relevant to soothing the nervous system, but you may say, that's great, I don't know how to be self-compassionate. So this is a very specific three-step process and it's called ACT, A-C-T. And it's based on the research of Kristen Neff, N-E-F-F, -F. she's a researcher in self-compassion practices and why it's so important, both again for soothing the nervous system, for helping you feel more supported, for activating parts of your brain that have to do with the tend and befriend system, the care system of the brain that helps you feel less alone. So let's get into it. ACT, A-C-T. A is for acknowledging your pain. C is for connecting with all beings that have felt the same way. And T is for talking kindly to yourself. So let's break that down. The A is for acknowledging your pain. What that looks like is that you take a moment and you put your hand over your heart and you talk to yourself in the second person because research shows that that, again, activates the neural networks of the tend and befriend care system in the brain. So you would say, I would say to myself, you would say to yourself, Ashley, I notice that you're really suffering or you're really scared or I see that you are in so much pain. Just the act of putting your hand on your heart actually act activates and stimulates oxytocin, which is the hormone of bonding and care and love. So that alone has a sort of triggering impulse into your brain. And then just noting your pain. There's something about having someone notice your pain, even if it's you noticing your own pain. So again, A for acknowledge, Ashley, you are having such a hard time. Then the C, connect, saying, you are not alone. You are like millions of people having a hard time right now on this planet, literally around the globe. Everyone has been affected by this pandemic. Everyone knows the universal experience of loss and grief. So saying to yourself, you're not alone. People throughout human history have felt fear, have felt pain, have felt anxiety, have felt sorrow. And then finally, the T for talk. And again, keeping your hand over your heart, talking kindly to yourself. <sighs> May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you know peace. May you be safe from harm. That's a Buddhist um, metta practice. Um, you could also say something to yourself like, you're gonna be okay, one day at a time. You're going to get through this, all is well. Some people will even say to themselves, I love you, I'm here for you, I've got your back. In other words, talking to yourself as you might towards a friend. This can happen very quickly when you notice you're in a moment of suffering. Ashley, I see that you are in so much pain. Ashley, you are not alone. You are part of a humanity, a sea of people throughout time that has known pain. Ashley, you're gonna be okay. You're a strong woman, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna get through this one day at a time. So I invite you to start talking to yourself that way. The research is very clear that that very simple brief practice triggers something in your brain that makes you feel less alone, that makes you feel cared for, that makes you feel like you're not completely adrift. These are very challenging times. And if you've ever lost a loved one, you know what it's like for life to change in the blink of an eye. And certainly with this pandemic that we're experiencing, life has changed in a blink, seemingly, with a range of ways it affects people. But I really invite you to start to cultivate this practice and to think in general of how to be compassionate towards yourself because you need some TLC and it can start with you. 
So I wish you well and uh, I'm sending peace. Namaste.